right, so in just a couple of days, Apple will be releasing their first major update to iOS 26. iOS 26.1 will soon be released to the general public. But today, I wanted to focus on some of the questions that you guys have been asking the most before the official release. And that is, how's the battery life? How's the performance? Is there any bugs or any issues that I need to be made aware of before I decide to update to iOS 26.1? Now, the first thing I want to talk about is battery life. So let's jump into the battery section here on this iPhone 17 Pro Max. And let me show you the usage right here. I also want to talk about overheating because I know a lot of you guys are asking, is my iPhone overheating? I have to say that has not been the case, not once with iOS 26.1 RC, but here's the battery usage. And I wanted to show you here this number. This is the number you want to focus on right there, over eight hours of on-screen time. And you see there the daily or the weekly right there, you see that it's basically pretty average across the board there. So sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less on-screen time, but you know, that's always going to depend on how you use your device. But what I can say is that I got excellent battery life overall. And I also have to say that it's improved on all devices, including the iPhone 17, the iPhone Air, older devices like the iPhone 13, 12, 11, all devices have improved battery life with iOS 26.1. So yeah, if you're looking to update from iOS 26 or 26.0.1, this new update should improve the battery life. Now, not only have we seen improvements in battery life, I also wanna talk about animations as well as overall performance. Now, before we get to those details, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Desking. With its ultra low latency and global network of over 200 nodes, Desking allows you to remotely access your computer from anywhere in the world, rather you're using Windows, Mac, Android or iOS. Desking is perfect for remote work. You can access your entire PC or Mac when you're traveling, in a meeting, or simply forgot your files at home. You can easily transfer files between PCs, phone or PCs, or vice versa at speeds of up to 12 megabits per second with no file size limit, no restrictions, and you can even edit them remotely. Desking supports 4K at 60 frames per second or 2K at 144 PFS. You can enjoy smooth PC games on your phone or any old laptop anytime. Now you can also use your iPhone or your iPad as a secondary display with the built-in extend my screen option. Now controlling an Android phone is also possible with desking. If you need to help a family member troubleshoot their devices, this is going to be the app for you. Now guys, personally, I love how simple and fast desking is. Just log in, connect, and you're instantly working on your computer as if you were sitting right in front of it. And here's the best part. Desking free version is fully commercial ready with no time limits, great connection quality, and provides human customer support. And you can also upgrade to unlock even more powerful features at a very affordable price. So make sure to check out Desking. Links will all be in the description down below. Huge thanks to Desking for sponsoring today's video. Now, one of the big changes happening with iOS 26.1 is that Apple added an option to actually change the appearance of liquid glass. And you can find this under display and brightness. You have the liquid glass appearance toggles right here. And you see there that you now have the option to choose clear or tinted. So these are the two new options available within iOS 26.1. So there is the clear option, as you can see right there. And this is the tinted option. Let's go ahead and show you that right there. No liquid glass at all, as you can see. So Apple definitely giving users more control over the look of liquid glass with iOS 26.1. And I'm happy that Apple is listening to their customers. All right, so now let's talk about animations and performance, because once again, with iOS 26.1, Apple has improved the animations on the iPhone and made animations faster and have more physics to them. So let me show you rather than just tell you. You see here on the control center, we have more of a bounciness effect and the animations are slightly faster. This translates over to launching apps and things like that. And it also makes older devices feel a little bit faster, believe it or not. So here's an iPhone 11 here running iOS 26.1 RC and the animations are just faster or appear to be faster just because Apple has changed the physics of the animations and it makes the OS on older devices just feel a lot faster. As you can see right here, this iPhone 11 is just running this software like nothing. Obviously this is a 60 Hertz display, so you're not going to see animations be as smooth as the newer devices, but yes, animations have been made faster and performance has improved as well. So let's go into the benchmarks here, the previous beta versus the current beta. You see there single core score and multi core score performance has increased. So we see that on the single core score, we have a little over 100 points increase and the multi core score a little over 300 points. So again, the previous beta and then the current beta right at the top there improvements overall 
in terms of performance, faster animations, and more physics to those animations, which translates to older devices feeling faster. Now, before we talk about when we can expect Apple to release iOS 26.1 to the general public, here's an idea of something that I would love for Apple to add to future software updates. Aside from updating Apple intelligence to work properly and updating Siri, I would love for Apple to add an additional option to customize the home screen icon. So right now we have the default, we have the dark icons, we have clear icons and tinted. But hear me out, what if Apple added a fifth option called clear with color. Now this concept has been floating around for quite some time now and the icons are clear and the elements within the icons have color. I think this looks so great. I think it looks even better than the current clear and tinted option built into iOS 26. I think Apple should definitely add this to iOS 26. Either way, let me know what you think about this in those comments down below. All right, so now let's talk about when we can expect Apple to release iOS 26.1 for everyone to download. Now typically major software releases get released on Mondays. So let's head on over to the calendar here and I would say Apple could release iOS 26.1 for everyone to download as early as Monday November the 3rd or at the latest Monday November the 10th but obviously I'll keep you guys posted and make sure to stay tuned here to the channel but these are going to be some of the things that I believe Apple has definitely improved hopefully this answers most of your questions in regards to iOS 26.1 thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one peace